everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a book spread in my reading journal for Rose Daughter by Robin McKinley. I've kind of been in a kick of rereading her books. Uh, she's probably my favorite author, so um, it's kind of on a yearly basis almost that I reread my favorites of her works. Um, and Rose Daughter is a classic. It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that very much focuses on the um, kind of aesthetic and physical details of um, Beauty's life and the castle. Um, so in this retelling, she uh, moves to a cottage with her sisters and her father uh, after financial trouble kind of drives them out of the city and she is um, somehow this amazing gardener which I, th I think is revealed to be because of magic but she is this amazing gardener and she can make almost anything grow especially roses and there's like um, mythology about that uh, like only a green witch can grow roses or something like that and then naturally she ends up going to this castle and having to live in the castle with the beast um, but the underlying theme of why she's at the castle is kind of like to make the beast's roses grow. He has this giant uh, greenhouse that he needs her to bring the roses back to life. And obviously there is the subplot of uh, he is trying to get her to marry him, which is in almost every Beauty and the Beast retelling, I think. Um, but I really enjoyed how much energy the book spent focusing on the gardening and on Beauty's love of plants and roses and um, wildlife and how much care she takes with um, creatures and her surroundings and plants and things. And it was more about those physical details and less about like, um, you know, you've got this girl kind of in pseudo captivity here. Uh, so I really, I really enjoyed that about this book. And then for my um, spread here, I went with kind of a pink roses theme. I had these papers uh, that had roses on them and one of them had the saying, what one loves is made beautiful, which I think perfectly encapsulates the message of Beauty and the Beast, um, which is kind of that, you know, beauty is not in the outward appearance. <laughs> One of the things that I enjoyed about this book was uh, the sisters' relationship. It is super strong. Uh, you've got these three sisters. All three of them are totally unalike. Um, the oldest sister is named Lionheart, and she is very brash and um, kind of banging things about. She uh, cuts all her hair off, and she likes to ride horses. Uh, the second sister is called Jewel Tongue, and um, she's very witty, she likes to sew. And then the youngest sister is called Beauty, and she is the gardener, and she's more kind of the peacemaker, um, seam mender of the family. Uh, and I loved, you know, uh, all these three girls are just totally rooting for each other, and I love, I mentioned this in uh, one of my other videos that is coming out, um, I'm not sure if it'll be before or after this one, but I love it when a book um, does a sister relationship well. I have two sisters myself, and um, yeah, it's just uh, always, you know, a huge bonus when I see great sister relationships where they really love each other and they really um, are kind of inseparable and there's no competition and there's no um, whatever, fighting over the same boy kind of love triangle nonsense. Um, yeah, I, I love the sister relationship.
So that is my spread for Rose Daughter by Robin McKinley. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. Um, I always love talking about Robin McKinley. If you have read any of her books or if you've read any good Beauty and the Beast or fairy tale retellings, please let me know. I'd love to find more great fairy tale retellings. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.